Hi everyone, it's Morgan and thanks for joining our channel again. I am here today at Specialty Appliance and we are at the Greenwood Village location and I am here with Blaine. Hi, Hi. Blaine. Hi, how's it going? Doing good. Thank you so much for meeting with me. Okay. So we are here to talk about appliance trends and what's going on in the market. So what would you say is the biggest trend that you have seen so far? So the biggest trends is most of the manufacturers now are making almost two distinct looks within their brands, one being the more contemporary or a Euro look, and then the other being the, the traditional. So okay. within each brand, you'll have a very similar feature level, but a different look to the exterior of the product. Okay, and that would help if someone has more of a modern kitchen as opposed to and then traditional, exactly. so that can fit the appliances. They're trying to cover all their bases so they don't you know, ostracize one group of people or the other. Oh, that's wonderful. And then as far as types of appliances, um, are people renovating the whole kitchen at once? Do Is it more common to come and replace like a fridge that stopped working or upgrade their oven? What well, are you seeing? What that? we see in our business is that it really is the whole kitchen. I mean, that's kind of what you come to a place like specialty appliance for. Uh, um, we don't see a lot of people come in just to do a dishwasher, although we do have that, but it's more that person that's redoing their kitchen and they're looking at redoing the whole thing. So our average delivery is five pieces. So okay. yeah, compared to maybe one of the big boxes where their average delivery to a house is one piece or maybe two at the most, ours is five. So that's typically you know cooking, ventilation, cleanup, which is dishwashers, and then uh, food storage, which is uh, refrigeration. Okay. So are you seeing any trends right now in the finishes as far as the appliances go? I know stainless steel is always really popular, but that's also something where people like the cabinets to blend into the refrigerator so that finish blends in. Is that something you're seeing a lot of? There's still a lot of people that are doing the integrated look, which is where you can put on you know, dishwashers and uh, uh, built-in refrigeration and some freestanding refrigeration where they can put the actual cabinets on it. But there are more color offerings being of offered by the different manufacturers. Specifically, black stainless, for instance, oh, okay. has come and gotten very popular. And it's popular enough that pretty much every manufacturer now has a complete lineup of black stainless as well. Okay. Um, we still see stainless steel representing 90 to 92% of what's purchased out there. Yeah. I um, mean, it's still that, that timeless uh, color neutral color that can go with anything you're doing from the wildest colors in the kitchen to the mildest color, stainless steel still works. But we are seeing more people, you know, uh, go down the, the road of black stainless. General Electric, for instance, also has some matte colors like uh, slate and, the, and they have a matte black color that we're seeing some increase on. They're kind of on an island by themselves, so they're yeah. the only ones doing that right now. But but it is interesting, the black stainless is pretty much every manufacturer you can think of is doing that. Okay, great. And then what about for the finishes? I know when stainless steel came out way in the way long ago, it was hard to clean just because people didn't know how to clean it, and it showed a lot of fingerprints. Have they made changes to the stainless steel? They have. Steel? Most of the companies now, they have their, their traditional stainless steel that does take a little bit more elbow grease to take care of. Um, but for especially, you know, families that have younger kids oh, yes. that uh, put their Touch hands everything. on everything, um, most of the manufacturers also have, whether they call it smudge proof or fingerprint resistant, it's stainless steel that is treated with a coating that makes it more resistant to the fingerprinting and such, and it's a lot easier to clean. Okay, wonderful. For appliances, is it more, is it recommended to keep everything in the same brand? Um, or, like you said, when someone comes in, they're pretty much doing the whole kitchen, but if they happen to have the money to replace maybe just their stove. Would you recommend them staying within the same brand family? Is there a benefit to doing that? Is there a negative? The the best way to buy appliances is buy the appliance that's right for you. And that's when, when we when we talk to a customer when they come in here, we ask a lot of questions. How they use it, what did they use before? Mm -hmm. You know, what didn't you like? What do you like now? What's really important to you? And if you do that, it's very hard to stay within one brand. Correct, yeah. Um, but, on the other hand, most of the manufacturers' promotions reward you for buying more within a brand. So there's a, there's a trade-off there. So if you're buying a lot of appliances, if you stay within one brand, you'll get the most pro promotional you know, Benefits from benefit okay. from, a, from a manufacturer that way. But if you really want to make sure you're happy with the product, you should treat each product category on its own, look at it, get the product that you think is going to be right for the you know, for your house, for how your family uses it. And sometimes that's not all within the same brand. Okay, that's good Many of the manufacturers also now um, make what we kind of call design neutral products. For instance, Samsung has refrigerators that don't have a handle on them. They have 
hidden pocket handles. So that refrigerator now can go with anybody, any other brand's product if mm-hmm. it has a handle because you're not trying to match up handles or subtle dis- design cues. And it doesn't cues. stick out as exactly. a weird one out. Okay. Exactly. What would you say do you have in your store that would be the best stove for an avid home cook, chef type person that's looking for an amazing stove? What, what would you recommend? There's a lot of amazing stoves now. So to, to say that one is the right one for everybody would be erroneous and, and sure. I wouldn't really be you we, we, we wouldn't do somebody justice by saying that um, again it's asking them how do they cook in the house what's their experience what's their culinary expertise kind of thing because there's ones that are made to be really really simple and some of them um, with the advent of you know Wi-Fi and the way they connect and, and, and whatnot yeah. they they can have all the menus on the product kind of thing and if somebody really you know needs help they, there's products that can help them. Also, if somebody's really a pretty good chef and they know how to do it, there's other products that they don't need all that kind of stuff for them. Mm-hmm. So they can save some money by not having as many features in it, per se, um, and, and get a product that, again, that more closely matches them. But every manufacturer has really great products these days. It's just a matter of getting the product that has the right features and benefits for the right consumer that's buying it. Okay, great. And then as far as stoves go, um, do you have, do you guys do all gas stoves? Are there electric ones that you offer? Um, What are you seeing trend-wise for those? We offer all of them. We have electric, um, gas, and then what's called dual fuel. We sell predominantly dual fuel because it's the best of both worlds. You can have a gas top with an electric oven so you can still have the self-cleanability which, you know, when you have a really big oven, yeah. having to be self-cleaning is a lot easier than you being the cleaner kind of thing on it. Yeah. Um, and there are gas ranges as well that are self-cleaning, but uh, dual fuel is still, in the, at least in Colorado, and I can probably say this for just about any of the businesses here that sell appliances, dual fuel is by far the, the, the most common um, setup that we sell. Okay, wonderful. All right, and then as far as dishwashers go, have there been any new trends, any advances that have been made in 2018, any new products that have come out that are just amazing or pretty much all the same still? It's more more the same. I mean, the key things that make a dishwasher work really well is hot water mm-hmm. and then the, the levels of spray. You know, there's dishwashers that spray from the bottom, the middle, the top, from the back, from the sides. It's getting that water around what what's dirty in there. So, sure. um, you know... It, any of the good, really um, well-made dishwashers have a stainless steel interior mm-hmm. that makes it quieter, allows it to have hotter temperatures in it. Some of them actually have um, where they actually heat the water in an inline water heater kind of situation, so you have really, really hot water, and that combined with detergents is what, what cleans it. So um, the main thing is in any of the dishwashers is, again, the multi-levels of the wash, and then have an adjustability to fit what you own, you know, yes. to be able to put it in there. Mm-hmm. So. Um, and there's a lot of brands that, that do that really, really great now. There's some, you know, amazing dishwashers from Asco, Miele, Bosch, um, KitchenAid even. You know, they all do a really, really good job of cleaning. Okay, wonderful. What about refrigerators? I know they've come out with some touch screens, some like multi ways to open it with a, seeing the glass. Anything that's like really popular, really trending in refrigerators? So there's two kind of categories in refrigeration. There's the freestanding and there's built-in. And freestanding... The Korean brands like LG and Samsung have brought a lot of really neat features to the products. They have things like showcase doors where you can open the front of the door, access everything that's in the door without opening up the whole refrigerator and letting all that cold air back into the room and then having to have the machine run to get its temperature back Mm -hmm. down. So it's it's efficient and it's really, really handy for getting the things you're in and out of a lot. Um, LG has ones where you you know you can knock on the glass and it turns on a light and you can see into the refrigerator oh, wow. without okay. opening the refrigerator yeah. kind of thing. Um, but those two brands have been very innovative and they're bringing a lot of cool features to to the market that are also being adopted by all the other manufacturers. Then in built-in refrigeration, it's really gone to columns and it's driven by a lot of things. Energy standards being the primary driver, but. Whereas before you maybe bought a 48 inch built in refrigerator, now you buy a column, a freezer column, and a refrigerator column, put them together, and okay. you can configure them in different ways. You can put refrigeration in different places in the house. You can put freezer in another place in the house. You can get one that's all for wine storage kind of thing. And it's kind of like think of stereo components from the old days. You know, you can stack it any way you want and put it together. 
make it really custom. And the, the other thing between both brands or both categories is uh, the door configurations. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it used to be pretty much top mounts and, and uh, bottom mounts and side by sides. Now there's French door refrigerators with three doors, four doors, you know, and, and some of the compartments can be converted between refrigerator or freezer. So you really have a lot of options with the product and it can change while you have it in your house. If you comes, you know, holiday time, you need oh, yeah. more freezer space, you can convert one of the, the compartments to freezer space instead of refrigerator oh, space or, or vice versa. Okay. And then with refrigerator, yes, the refrigerators with, um, the, you want it to obviously look nice, but then a lot of people like water access or able to fill water bottles and ice. Mm -hmm. Is it something that you're seeing a lot of those go to the inside? I know I've seen some where the water access is on inside. Is it still outside? What are people preferring? On you this? see both of them. And what I would say is the people that use ice and, and do a lot of water, they want it on the outside. They, they don't, access, they don't yeah. want it on the inside. They don't want to have to open the door to get to it. And again, when you do that, you do let all the cold mm -hmm. air out too, and so now the refrigerator is going to run more and use more energy. So okay. um, it really comes down to what does the family use. Like I said, we, we, we spend a lot of time talking to folks like how do you use your product now that you have? What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? And you know, somebody that's using a lot of ice and constantly going there, and I'm one of those people, I drink a lot of cold drinks. It's yep. like it, I have to have the dispenser on the outside of the refrigerator. I drive me crazy to have it on the always, inside. Always, yeah, right. always have to go in. What appliances do you have in the store that would be what you would think is like the coolest or the most amazing thing that you have seen come out recently? There's, there's a lot of crazy things. Um, we have like the Samsung Chef has a built-in four-door refrigerator, which is oh, wow. really unique and different, and, and it's convertible. Um, like I was saying earlier, some of the re freestanding refrigerators that have four doors and, and uh, you know, that are convertible in different um, uh, shapes and sizes to them. It, just when people haven't looked at a refrigerator in a long yeah. time and seen all the new options, um, it's a lot of fun for them. And, and then everything is now some type of Wi-Fi enabled. So yeah, I was gonna ask literally that. every product out there now has some new cool things that weren't there just three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, they can... They can talk to the, you think something's going wrong. In fact, some of them are preemptive. They can call um, the manufacturer and the manufacturer will send you an email saying, hey, we're getting an F3 code on your uh, your range. We'd like to schedule a service call for you. Kind oh, of that's thing. awesome. And, that would uh, be fantastic. Yeah, and then other ones actually, um, there's dishwashers and laundry products that will actually get more cycles down the road. So you buy it today and maybe it has 10 cycles. Well, they come up with another two cycles that for the, the, they're buying public or saying, hey, I wish my unit would do this. They make a new cycle for it and you can download it. And now that product has actually expanded and gotten more useful as it as it ages with you. Oh, that's great. So right. it helps extend the life of it, it too. So you don't have to always upgrade it. Right. So if someone um, at home wants to renovate their kitchen and they need to get all new appliances, what would you recommend is the best place for them to start? Should they start looking? Should they come in and schedule an appointment? Should they come to the store and kind of browse? What is the easiest way to kind of start the process? The best place, of course, is to come to specialty appliance first, right? Of course. And kind of see one of our, our salespeople, our sales um, folks. Um, we, we pride ourselves on being a real low pressure place. We don't we don't sell extended warranties and all that. We, we want to make it fun. We have uh, uh, chefs on staff okay. come to our show our showrooms, especially on the weekends. You're probably going to get fed an amazing uh, meal as well. But really, the first step is just come in and look around. There's a lot to see. The industry has changed dramatically in the last really four or five years, and it is the advent of technology and it's the marriaging of you know, a lot of the features that you maybe have in your cell phone uh -huh. and the way that you work with that have now come to the appliance industry. So it's mm -hmm. very intuitive, intuitive. It's, uh, it's easy to use, and it's fun. So, you know, what we like to say is come, come down here and play with our stuff, you yeah. know, and that's the best way to start seeing it and actually touch it, see how it works, and, and does that make sense to you, and then, then you can have some fun with it. Um, in most cases, you know, whether you're, if you're going to do cabinetry or any kind of remodel, you're going to need the specifications for the appliances before they're going to draw the kitchen anyway because they're going to say, well, okay, how big of a refrigerator do you want? Uh -huh. And if you haven't been anywhere, it's like, well, I don't know. Yes. But they, they need those dimensions from us. So this is probably one of the first places you should stop when you're, when you're considering redoing your kitchen. Okay, great. And the store is really fun, and it, there's so much to look at in all of the appliances here. So it's really mm -hmm. great to just come check it out. And then you said something sitting down with someone, and you really talk, and um, 
How would someone set an appointment here? Is it best to call the store? Or do you have a website or an email they're, to send it to? They're welcome to come in at any time. We're open Monday through Saturday and we'll take care of you. But if you'd like to make an appointment, we love appointments too. Um, we will come in after hours for somebody that has you know restrictive uh, um, time constraints. Sure. So you just call down and, and we'll get you set up with a the salesperson. And they'll make an appointment for you. That way when you come down here, you make sure you don't have to wait. But uh, we have a, this showroom for instance, has 16 salespeople um, assigned to it. We usually can take care of people oh, yeah. um, even the busiest of days. Okay, great. And then I will link some information below for the website and some contact information with the different stores. Could you have this location and there's two others, correct? Two others, Louisville and Fort Collins as well. We, uh, we service today, we service from Colorado Springs all the way to Cheyenne on a daily basis on the I-25 corridor. And then on the I-70 corridor, we go all the way to Aspen on a, on a oh, wow. pretty much daily basis. So anybody that's on either one of any of those category or corridors, um, we'll take care of them. Okay, great. Um, do you have any promotions or anything? So do you offer any, do you have credit cards, anything that someone, when they come in and looking for a full kitchen mm -hmm. that you can help with or anything coming up that you'd like to talk about? All the manufacturers have promotions and uh, you know, Jenner has a significant one now where the more you buy, you get free stuff. Decor has that. Pretty much every manufacturer has promotions. And um, one of the things we do when we sit down with somebody, we also look at on the internet so we look at our pricing, uh -huh. and then we look at the internet to see what's going on out there because it is a commodity, yeah. you know. So we have to be on top of it, and we are always looking. And so we will actually shop it while we're with you, and we make sure that we get you as good a price as you can get anywhere. Basically. Oh, that's good to know. So using the good price and then the promotions, um, we also have zero percentage just and all those kind of things. If somebody needs that, that we can sign up as well. So. Okay, great. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about about the store, the process, appliances in general? Anything else that we didn't cover yet? Yeah, just uh, especially appliance. We're a local company. Again, uh, we, we cover pretty much the entire state. Um, we do all of our own delivery and ins installations. So the people that come to your house from when they come from specialty appliance are actually specialty appliance employees. We're really, really proud of our installation teams and the work they do. We, we like to say that uh, you know when we come out to your house, we'll make sure that there's no more new work to be done after we leave kind of oh, thing. Good. So yes. we don't damage the floors. We, we do a lot of very unique things in the installation um, department to protect floors, protect houses, make sure that there's not water leaks and such after that installation so you can get your appliance and be on your way and not have to have a, a bunch of service calls hopefully later. Okay, great. And then as far as timing wise, if someone comes in and they want to order a whole kitchen, is it something that can be installed pretty quickly? Do you need to order the, the different parts and have them come in? How long is that so like you can kind of time it when you're renovating? I would say probably a good rule of thumb is a month, and that's only because we offer every brand there is, basically. Sure. And with that, there's over 20,000 SKUs, so you can't stock 20,000 items. It really depends on what the customer buys, but for the most part, most things you can get, and we, we in turn buy from a manufacturer, um, get it get it purchased, get it out and installed, usually within a month. So, um, And there's certain things that we can do right away, too. The dishwasher, you know, change out or something like that's really fast if it's something that we stock. But again, if it's a full kitchen kind of thing, plan on a month, month lead time probably is, is a good rule in the industry. Wonderful. All right, Blaine. Well, thank you so much for letting us come in and take a look at the store and talk to you for a bit. I really appreciate it. And then Hello. we're going to go take a tour around the store. So um, we'll stop now and then go take a look. Cool. All right, thanks. I want to say thank you to Blaine and Specialty Appliance for letting me come in and talk to them a bit about what the appliance trends are for right now there's some really great things this is a tour of the store in greenwood village um, it's really great to see all of the appliances out in person you can kind of get a feel for some of these different colors i think on the website they do a good job showing it but in person you just get that full feel of what the mat the difference between the mat and the shiny and you can kind of just get ideas on how you want your kitchen to look and make sure you're getting the right appliance for you there's also a ton of different features, so actually going through and looking at everything, opening it up, messing around with it, seeing how it's going to work and if it's going to fit for what you want it to do, I think is a really good idea to before you buy the appliances, come in and take a look at them. This is also great for getting ideas and a feel for how your kitchen can look at the end. Um, a lot of times people have a hard time visualizing what all of the things are going to look like, how big it is, um, you know, 
how much you want for space and things like that, making sure you have enough counter space as opposed to a bigger range or whatever you need. This will help you kind of gauge what you're wanting. So all of it throughout the whole store gives you different ideas. You kind of have sections. Um, the fridge section is probably the biggest one, and then you kind of go through the kitchens where their kitchen's kind of all set up. Throughout, too, there are also some really cool appliances, um, things like really custom coffee makers and some wine chillers and things like that. So you can kind of see some really cool appliances that you maybe had not thought about but would work well with how you use your kitchen and what your end goal would be. So I just want to say again, a big thank you to Specialty Appliance. This was really fun to see all of these. There's a bunch of different advances, especially with the technology side of it that I was not aware of. So yeah, if you haven't upgraded your kitchen or if you're thinking about it, it is really a great idea to do it. And coming to Specialty Appliance, the store is fantastic. They have water and drinks, so... It's very entertaining, especially on the weekends. They have people helping all the time. Every time I've come in there, their employees have been great. But on the weekends, like he said, there have been chefs coming in and cooking meals so you can see the actual appliances um, in action and get some food and things like that. But yeah, it's just a really great place. So if you need anything, look in the description box below. You can get their address, sites, their website, and then um, I'll have Blaine's contact information in case you need to set any appointments or anything. But again, thank you to them. And if you have liked the video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when new videos come up. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Bye.